Today we're in Busteni, Romania, and we're going on a little hike today. We're going to a monastery, going into nature, and may even hit a waterfall. And we're going to the castle that we were meant to do last video, but it's like right up there. Our Airbnb is actually right next to it, so it'll be super cool to hit that as the last stop of the day. But first we're gonna stop at this coffee chain that we've seen everywhere in Romania. It's called Five to Go. Just gonna grab a quick cappuccino and see how it tastes. We got a cappuccino, a medium one, and a sandwich. All of this was only like $3, 3 or $4, really good. And this was only two, and this was only two. So let's give it a try. It's actually really good. It's super creamy. I wasn't sure because of how cheap it is, but it's really good. We also got a sandwich and we have them heated up. So let's see how it tastes. There's like turkey and cheese. It said pastrami and mozzarella. I'm not sure I taste either of those, but the sandwich is still actually really good. Okay, there actually is a lot of cheese in here and it is really good, so five below. I like it. Five to go. <laughs> in the United States, there's a store called Five Below, but this is five to go, but I keep saying five below. I will say there's no better view to drink a coffee to than these mountains. We're walking to the monastery right now, but to get to it, we have to go through the town and well, we're making another stop to get some crepes. We got coffee and a sandwich, but now we wanted just a little bit something sweet. So we'll see how it tastes. This is a serious crepe. This is like <laughs> bigger than my head. This crepe is honestly so good. We've had some in France, some in Vietnam. This might be the best. Walking up to the mountains. Look at how beautiful these views are. Ah, it just keeps getting better and better. Uh-oh. We made it to the trail and it looks like there is a lot of stairs. So I don't think it's supposed to be too hard. It said it was a 17 minute walk and we've already done 10 of them, but the stairs are probably the last seven minutes. Whew, gonna get a good workout in though. Good thing we got our coffee and our crepes to fuel us on this hike. Mm. <laughs> I didn't taste good together. <laughs> we are kind of deep in the woods right now. There's still like a road right down there and then up here we still have to get to the road to go to the monastery, but I'm really enjoying this little like peaceful. It's not that peaceful because we're all really loud, but it's peaceful other than us. The forest path turned into a road and it looks like there might be some bears here. I'm a few years away from learning fluent Romanian, but I think that's uh, what it says. Woohoo, there it is. Wow, it is so beautiful with those mountains in the background. Although the crane is kind of a bummer, but that's okay. This is insanely beautiful. Look at this like line of trees here that leads up to the monastery with the mountains in the background. This is amazing. so beautiful. I am like just like completely taken away by everything that we've done in Romania so far but this is like this is next level like with the clouds covering the tops of the mountains and like this beautiful building with all the greenery. It's just it's so amazing. We can actually hear them chanting just like a teeny bit when it gets really quiet we can hear them in there. I think our monastery is Catholic? Yeah okay so Usually I'm used to like the monks chanting when we are in Asia, so it's a little bit different now, but it's still really cool and like a little bit eerie when you hear the chants. And it looks like they're putting some more rooms in, so I guess more people can live here, so that's cool. I have no idea why there's peacocks here, but that's pretty cool. Hello. <laughs> they are so pretty. <gasps> oh, the bunnies. Oh. Hi there, little bunny. These bunnies are so stinking cute. This dude's real close to us. Hello. <laughs> are you trying to escape? Are you trying to escape? <laughs> 
This one's my favorite. He's so fluffy. I haven't 100% confirmed this yet, but I was just searching up on Google why monasteries have peacocks, and it says it symbolizes Christ's resurrection because the peacock's feathers like extend upward. So if that's true, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Those peacocks and bunnies sure were a fun little surprise. It was like a mini little zoo. Well, I spotted something. I knew it wasn't a bear because it's white, but it looks like there's a little horse over here. I'm guessing it's probably part of the monastery, but it kind of just looks like it's in an open field. Getting all sorts of animal encounters today. Hey there, buddy. Oh, he's walking towards me. Oh, I don't have anything for you. I'm sorry. There's one over here, and then there's another one right there. There might even be more. He's so short and cute. He's like probably up to my knees. Well, probably up to my hips. Spooky. We're continuing our hike up the hill. I mean, we are going the right way because we looked, checked on Google Maps. It says if you keep heading down this like kind of skinny road, you're going to reach the natural park. I don't know. I, I want to see a bear, but I want to see a bear when I'm in the safety of like a cable car or like our little <laughs> house. But we're going into the natural park and we're it's only Jacob and I now, so. I'm a little nervous. You did say that was your dream in Romania to see a bear. It is, but when I'm like in the safety of something, not on my feet in the middle of the forest alone. We're hiking to a waterfall, but honestly, there's plenty along the way. Dude, this is like the fifth or sixth one we've seen. Let's see how cold this water is. <laughs> is that cold? That is chilly. I mean, it's coming from like the top of that mountain, I'm pretty sure, so I bet a lot of it is like snow runoff from the winter. This little hut right here would be a super cute place to get food if it was open. We've only been hiking for like 15 minutes. It's only supposed to be like 30 minutes to the waterfall, but I've seen a lot of bear signs. No bears though, so that's good. Jenny said we've only been walking for like 15 minutes, but in reality, it's been like four hours of constant walking ever since we left our Airbnb. So we're feeling a little bit tired, especially because we've had to walk up this hill. I mean, it's been a lot of elevation gain so far, but if we want to go further, we're gonna have to follow this trail marking right there that kind of looks like the finished flag. We are on high alert for bears. This is honestly terrifying. We're the only people in the middle of this forest. Do you think they have bear spray back in town? I didn't see any signs for bear spray. When we were in like Canada, all of the trails said like, make sure you bring bear spray. But here, I don't know if they just see them so much they don't care. <laughs> uh, it's also very steep. It's getting, it is uh, definitely scarier than I thought it would be while we were planning out this day. And it's like dark. It's like dark and spooky because there's a lot of clouds. Been walking for a while now and we can hear the waterfall, so I think we're getting pretty close. I'm not exactly sure if this is the one that we found on Google Maps before we started our trek, but it sounds kind of loud, so let's head down there. What's well, a lot more out in the open over here than I was expecting. Okay, there we go, that's something cool. Oh, and there's more up there. This one's really cool because there's this one and another one back there so you get like layers of it which makes it look extra cool. And it's honestly a lot colder by this water. It's like rushing and it like gets a little bit of mist but it's just a lot colder down here than when we were hiking up. Obviously it looks like it's like kind of man-made, both of them. All of the ones we've seen are kind of man-made but they still look really cool. Well we for sure did not make it that far into the natural park but we walked down and it took about like 30, 45 minutes and now we found an open field. It's really pretty. There's some houses, open field, mountains. Everywhere is really pretty here though, so you can't really go wrong any way you look. Going to the castle! With our wine? Well, we're making a mold wine tonight, so we had to stop at the store to get the goods. That is the castle right there, so we just have to go all the way over there. Oh yeah, and we're already here. <laughs> Look at how pretty it is. I feel like I'm totally like in Italy right now, like with these trees and like the style of the architecture. It's very pretty.
If we haven't already said why this castle is so popular right now, it's because it is the filming set of Wednesday. It's on Netflix and that's all I know about the show. We thought that maybe we could get in for free, just walk around. We don't really want to go inside, but we did have to pay 20 lei per person, which is around $4 US, so not too bad. It is more expensive. It's 75 lei if you want to go inside. But the outside is so beautiful, and we saw the inside of a castle the other day, so we felt good. <laughs> This little black church in here looks so cute tucked into the woods. And then over here is the main castle right there. I'm going to be Wednesday and I'm really excited about it because for Halloween like two years ago, Jacob and I were Morticia and Gomez Adams. I want it to be Wednesday, but I didn't want to go to the party with my dad because that would be weird. Normally I don't film some of these like tiny signs over here, but it says that you should step on the grass here. So I'm gonna do that right now. They said that because after the fall of communism about 30 years ago, now everyone is free to enjoy the art wherever they are. You don't have to worry about like ruining everything. So I guess we're just gonna step on the grass as much as possible here. What? Okay, there's a Mortician Gomez one. <laughs> wow, look at us, are we cute? <laughs> I hope so. So we are looking up on Wikipedia what else this castle is other than the famous Wednesday filming spot and it actually was Print Cantacuzino. Canta <laughs> um, it was like basically his like hunting spot like on their way to Brasov they would stop here and go hunting and then eventually they built this castle and honestly it has the best view so if I had to personally choose a castle to live in it would be this one only because you have this insane view of the mountains. We are going inside. I think this is mostly just a, uh, a tour place. I'm not sure. Turns out it was just a hallway to another courtyard, but hey, it's kind of pretty over here. We're like in the castle now, kind of. This is fun. They have like the scenes that were filmed here. And so this was like an arrow scene, I guess. And the arrows are right over there. So it's kind of fun. You can see where everything was filmed. This courtyard is really pretty. This spot is really cool because you get the castle and the mountains in the back. This place is pretty neat. I mean, I think it was worth the 20 lei. Wow, we just climbed up to Hunter's Tower on the third story and this is the best view so far at this castle. actually see the monastery that we were at from here it's right there tucked in the forest so we walked actually a pretty long way now that I'm thinking about it because our Airbnb is just right down this little hill here and that is our day in Busteni we will see you in the next one in Brasov